I know it's been over a week, but we haven't seen you since the Kansas City win for the Titans. When you reflect back on that victory at Nissan Stadium, what stands out about the Titans' performance? Well, it was certainly one of the more exciting games that, that I've been a part of live. I think, you know, kind of watching back through it, really the way the players just fought for 60 minutes. I mean, it took every second of that game. There were a lot of ups, there were a lot of downs, but we stayed the course and we kept finding ways to make a play. We have enjoyed talking about your draft class during the course of the season. Let's talk about linebacker David Long Jr. Got a chance to play a lot in the Kansas City game, 27 snaps, 11 tackles. Talk to us about the progress of number 51. Yeah, it was much the same that we saw, you know, in his tape at West Virginia. He, he finally got an opportunity to get out there and play more defensively with Jayon Brown missing the game. Just really proud of him. And I think a lot of the things that we saw on the college film when we were evaluating came kind of to fruition on Sunday against the Chiefs. Not hesitant to trigger. He played reckless. He was a part of a play that calls it fumble, which is a big turnaround for us in the game. You know, just really proud of the way he works on a day-in and day-out basis and took advantage of the chance he had. Derrick Henry had his best day of the season, 23 carries, 188 yards, and two touchdowns. So I'm wondering, because he had his best day of the season, safe to say the Titans had their best run-blocking game of the season so far? Well, two, the, the two both, like, they, you know, they go hand in hand. So I, it probably was a little bit better. You know, I thought our guys got on their guys and, and finished, and that's what the run game is about for those guys up front is getting on your guy, blocking that guy till, till you hear the whistle. And Derek did a really good job being patient, yet pressing the hole, reading, letting the play develop, and then putting his foot in the ground and getting downhill and, and running through contact. Jacksonville, the opponent this weekend. Quarterback is now Nick Foles. That's not who you saw in week three. How does that change the Jacksonville offense? Yeah, he, I mean, he's, he's a good athlete. He's got good size. He's got a good arm. He's certainly been in a lot of big games, been in the biggest game and won it in a Super Bowl. He's got a lot of good players around him. Those guys are playing well. Fournette, Chark, uh, Westbrook, Cole, all of those guys are, are making plays for, for that offense. So I'm sure getting him back, those guys will be excited to play with him. A piece taken out on defense, Jalen Ramsey now plays for the Rams. You played against him in week three. How does his absence change the Jacksonville defense and more specifically change their secondary? Well, I mean, I think anytime you lose one of your, your better players, it certainly impacts you uh, to a degree. But they've got a lot of good players, you know, on that side of the ball with Ngikwe, Campbell up front, the rookie Allen, Miles Jack at linebacker. And in the secondary, they've still got a lot of great pieces with DJ Hayden, Bouye, Harrison at safety. Uh, Coach Wash does a great job with those guys. He and Coach Marone, you know, they've constructed it around to continue to play Jaguars football. What must the Titans do better this weekend than they did in week three against the Jaguars? Yeah, kind of shot ourselves in the foot early in, in week three and, and had a turnover down there and gave them points. And I really felt uh, you could feel the momentum in the stadium kind of swing towards the Jaguar. And we never could make enough plays to get the momentum back on, on our side. So you know, we've got to start fast and we've got to get up on these guys and we've got to get the momentum on our side and then finish and play for 60 minutes. And get that crowd involved. That's it. That's the thing. Thanks, John. Thank you.